it. There's bombs for you. <laughs> I got oh, dude! Oh my God! Yo, come here. Look. Hello, all. It's the Tech with Team Recursive, and welcome to this week's report. Where I'll be going over what's happened in the last week or two in the world of gaming. I'll start off with the Overwatch Open Division, which was officially announced on the Overwatch website this past Wednesday, June 14th. It's an entry-level esports competition, I think? I'm not really sure on how to explain exactly what type of league this is, but I can say that you won't be winning any money off the division itself. It's more of like a way to prove your worth and ability, and I imagine that up and coming as well as some of the top Overwatch esports team will have their eyes on top players in the division. Basically, it's like a professional sports combine, where you show your skills in hopes the right people are looking at you. Next, there's this big issue with these hackers and levers. I'll try and keep this one relatively short. You can find full explanations on what happened the past few weeks just by searching it here on YouTube. Basically, Blizzard recently banned professional player Defran for his actions both on his stream and in an actual pro match. We ended up throwing the game and he's been trying to do some weird recruiting thing on his stream to get this sort of pseudo gang of throwers and, and generally toxic players. This caused Blizzard to pull out the ban hammer and start looking at players ascend into orbit. Forever. But don't get your panties in a bunch, because they're mostly looking for levers, throwers, and extremely toxic players. Meaning that the majority of us are safe and sound in our normal gameplay. I'm not going to be going over the Horizon patch that much, because let's face it, you've all watched the same videos that I have, and you know just about as much as I do about them this whole new patch and, and everything that's coming with it. But I do want to move on to the big event of the last week and that was E3. Microsoft showed us a console that actually seemed like it might rival some lower or mid-range gaming PCs, but with a $500 price tag, it might be hard for those of us who already bought the One S in the last year or two to justify spending that much. We can still play all the upcoming games on our One S or even on our One. What caught my eye, or one of the things that caught my eye, was Forza 7 going to be coming out on October 3rd, and holy crap does it look gorgeous. Uh, Bioware also announced their new game Anthem, which definitely looks like a game that will be well worth dumping at least a few hundred hours into. Far Cry 5's got a few new trailers that I recommend you check out, because damn. And Assassin's Creed Origins is going to be released on October 27th. EA, well, they more or less stole my heart, hands down. First with the footage from Anthem, and the footage from Battlefield 2, their new multiplayer trailer, I basically lost my shit. I am a huge Star Wars nerd, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the new game. And, of course, Activision talked about some game that takes place in World War II, and it looks like it might actually, it might be kind of decent, so, you know, check that out if, if you want, I guess. Um, or don't, it's, that, that one's up to you, I, I really don't, yeah. Other than that, I don't have much else to cover for this week. If you think I missed anything important, please let me know in the comments. Also, hit that subscribe button and the funny bell thing to stay up to date with all of our latest content. As usual, this was The Tech with Team Recursive, and I'll catch you guys later.